My name is Melanie cope Marshall, and my job role here is Head of Marketing and Technology. We're a law firm based in the northwest of England. We're a largely litigious law firm, meaning that a lot of our case types land up in the courts. Some of the case types that we focus on mainly at the moment and some that we're most prominently known for include um, PCP claims, business energy claims, business interruption cases. We also do undisclosed commission claims. We are also taking on immigration cases now. We've decided to start helping individuals that are fleeing the war in Ukraine with um, pro bono um, asylum applications. We like to believe that we're fighting the good fight. And if you go on our website, you'll see that that's kind of our tagline, uh, making justice accessible to all. My role at Bearings is um, as the head of marketing and technology for the firm. As you can imagine, that's quite a wide encompassing role. On the technology side, I manage the Zoho suite of tools. So the Zoho products that we use here at Bearings Law are CRM. We use WorkDrive, Writer, Social, Campaigns, Sign and Flow. And these are all under the umbrella of our Zoho One subscription. Technology is not quite where it needs to be to support most law firms. So. Um, Thank goodness we found Zoho. Before we started using Zoho One, um, a lot of our applications were kind of disjointed and all over the place. We were using things like DocuSign for e-signatures and MailChimp for email marketing campaigns and SendGrid for transactional emails. And um, just staying on top of all of that was pretty chaotic. I came across an implementation of Zoho One uh, with, at one of our um, partners. We, we saw how they were using Zoho, um, everything from using CRM to onboard new clients through to getting them to sign uh, documents online using Zoho Sign and that was all just automatically integrated and the database structures were easy to follow and both myself and my practice manager were instantly hooked on the idea of Zoho. It was the only thing we could talk about on the way back to the office in the car. We were really looking forward to the demo to see what Zoho could offer. Uh, and to see how we could tailor it to suit the law firm. After we booked our demo with Zoho and um, initially it was focused mostly around CRM but during the demo Zoho made it very clear that there was a whole host of other tools that we could be using. And we had seen it with Sign but you know at the time we assumed they were all um, separate applications. Zoho One kind of brings that all together. After the demo with Soho, I decided to go off and take a look at alternatives, um, you know, due diligence. <laughs> and um, I considered Salesforce. Um, I found Salesforce to be quite cumbersome in a sense, uh, quite difficult to customize. Um, I've heard from peers in the industry that it can take years to customize it to the point where you can use it. It um, also requires a very special set of internal skills to manage Salesforce. I reopened conversations with Pipedrive about um, you know, how they could accommodate the, the, the features that we were lacking and they weren't very uh, helpful. <laughs> After taking a look at all the different options, I, it, was, it was just a no-brainer. So obviously in my day-to-day -day I'm, I'm quite a busy person. <laughs> so um, it's nice to be able to administrate all of the um, company's apps from one place. Um, before Zoho One, I used to have to log into five, six different platforms to give all the, the, the new staff logins. Now all I need to do is log into the Zoho One admin panel and I can onboard a new starter straight from there. So now my, my onboarding process is nice and easy. All I have to do is um, create them a, a login on our server and then Zoho does the rest. When it comes to administrating individual access to um, Zoho One applications, um, the admin dashboard makes it really easy to do this. Um, I can give whoever I like access to whatever app. So for example, if I need to give someone access to Zoho Sign, um, I simply click on their name in the admin panel and assign the um, Sign application. Um, what's really great about doing it from here is that I can control user permissions from within the admin dashboard. I don't need to physically log into Zoho Sign to, to control that. Um, and I can do all of that in bulk as well, which makes my job really easy. I know that as part of the Zoho One suite of applications, we've got access to so many different things. Uh, we have barely even scratched the surface in terms of um, apps that we've got access to. There's enough to offer within the Zoho application that um, you could certainly have one or two people managing it at full time and um, you know making the, the most out of everything that it has to offer. 
So I know that as we grow as a law firm, uh, Zoho One's applications have the scalability to grow with us. We know that we're not going to be limited by, um, you know, silly limitations on, on certain apps. And um, I mean, our current client counts at about half a million clients on CRM alone. So it's, it's nice to know that the firm is secure in its software choices and that those software choices are scalable. The really great thing about Zoho One's um, pricing model is that we pay an organization-wide subscription fee per user. That gives you access to everything. You don't need to worry about paying subscription fees for all these individual apps. My first recommendation to someone looking for a new system, specifically in the legal field as well, take a look at Zoho One, give it a chance. It's, it's just got so much to offer. You don't need a big tech team to implement it. Um, you could manage it whether you've got five employees or 500 employees. Uh, we have recommended Zoho to to quite a few of our business partners and, and quite a few of them have um, have uh, begun the implementation process. They've seen what Zoho has to offer and they've kind of jumped on board. 